Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is John Vine and what we're going to be talking about today is an awesome website that I discovered recently called Coding Game. Basically what this website does is it lets you learn how to code by building video games and I thought this was a great idea. I always like seeing, you know, websites that try to teach you how to code but they do it in a different way so this is awesome to see and I really wanted to give it a review to let you guys know if it's good or not and that's what we're going to be doing today. So if you're new to the channel, my name is John Vine. What we do here is we talk about software engineering and I try to use my experience to give you guys tips on how to achieve your goals of becoming software developers. If you like the content, feel free to like and subscribe. I think around 90% of you right now are not actually subscribed to the channel, so every subscription helps. And let's get right back to the video. So yeah, basically what you do here is uh, you build video games and it teaches you coding concepts. That's what I think it is. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it really is. So this is kind of like my first impressions, which is awesome. So basically, um, let's see. Basically, there's an introduction. So let's do that. So easy, it's kind of an onboarding. So you get to solve a puzzle and learn. Look, you kind of get to build this game. That's pretty cool. So let's, uh, my progress. So let's try to see, let's kind of see what's going on. So it looks like there's an IDE with a terminal, with a console, with where you can type. So, okay. Yeah, got it. So we get kind of like instructions. We get to choose a language and all right, cool. So I like JavaScript, so let's pick that. Okay, let's say your program to shoot the closest alien. So basically there's an IDE and you can kind of see test cases and I guess you can watch your code in action. So I guess this is what I just told my code to do. I don't know how, uh, I don't really understand what I told it to do. I'm just console logging, but yeah. So this is basically an onboarding, but you kind of get the the idea of, you know, what this, this website basically is. So if we look at, you know, overall, um, what we have here is we have kind of, I guess this is the output of your app. And um, so you're learning how to, you're using these like very basic instructions. And I guess it's, I guess it's translating, you know, these like simple, simple instructions like console logging or parsing an integer as different actions in the video game. So it kind of gamifies the way you learn how to code, which I guess is pretty cool. But you know, it didn't really feel that, um, didn't really feel just that natural when I was going through this onboarding. So I would, I'm wondering what, uh, what else there is here. So let's see, there's hints. Cool, there's a forum. What's in the forum? So I guess it's a place where you can, yeah, you can just discuss the solutions. That's really good. If, if there's always like a community aspect, I really like to see that. And it kind of gives, uh, it makes these places more reputable. If there's, you know, people talking and people discussing questions, I like to see that if I was like picking, you know, one of these things. So, okay, so that, that's kind of like the main place. Let's see what else there is. So, home. I guess I haven't really completed this yet. Oh, I have, okay, so. So I got some XP and then I can move on. So my nickname can be John Vine, if you guys want to add me on <laughs> Coding Game. Uh, let's see, I'm good, I'm not interested. Okay. Okay, so now basically we've reached the library. I've kind of done the tutorial, the onboarding, and it, I, I think this is a ton of different video games that you can build, and it teaches you different things, right? Here you build a game and it teaches you loops, so this is really a cool concept. If they've dumbed it down so much that like these simple concepts let you make cool things in the video game, I think that's, that's actually like a really, really good idea. So let's try to do one of these. So loops, what will I learn? Solving this puzzle uh, will let us understand the concept of loops. So we're super important. If I was a beginner, don't know what loops are, um, I would definitely be like, okay, well, what are they? And, and if I can learn them through a video game, that's awesome. So let's try it out. Got it. So if we play all the test cases, do you guys understand what is going on? I really don't know what's going on. Destroy the mountains before your starship collides with one of them. Start of each game, you are given the height of eight mounts from left to right. At the end of the game, turn you must fire on the highest mount by outputting its index from zero to seven. So look, so what we're seeing here is I solved the problem and basically what I see is that every time I console.log, whatever index I put in, these spaceships kind of kill these monsters. So the goal is in this loop to, you know, keep at, with every pass to destroy the biggest mountain. And so what I've done is it, you kind of loop through, keep track of the ma maximum, and then you console.log the index. And I really can see the potential here because it kind of teaches you the basic concepts, you know, like I can imagine how I would learn this if I was a complete beginner. And it kind of teaches you the basic concepts of a for loop and like, you know, printing and then makes it kind of fun with this, with these spaceships. So there's definitely um, a lot of potential here. I'm not going to lie. And there's a ton of different test cases. So, you know, look, I've passed, 
uh, this test case, it, you know, goes through and it breaks these mountains and it really is kind of fun. So I'm actually pretty pleasantly surprised at, you know, how well this works. Not going to lie. And there's um, also a ton of different languages. So like, look, there's like 50, like probably 30 different languages. So um, I, I honestly would recommend, let's see, play all test cases. So did I win this game? And then just submit. So then you submit. And then, you know, you level up and whatever, you get all these achievements. Look, you can even talk to people that are uh, currently working on this on this problem. So it's pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, so far, I'm a big fan of this. I don't know where this chat just came. Or can I just type? Okay, I don't know what just happened, but uh, yeah. Um, so let's go back and see the rest. So there's discussions. I guess if we go here, there's people talking about the solution. Yeah. And then solutions, yeah, people just submit their solutions. So compete, what does compete mean? So, oh, so there's, you know, competitions also. That's, this is really cool. So build a smart bot to fight your opponents. There's challenges. I guess you can also basically learn how to code by doing these different competitions against other people. So this really seems really fun. And I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if it's free or what's going on. But let's try to see, uh, okay, so there's practice, which is what we just did. So you basically build a game. Um, cool, that's really cool. Sponsored ones, okay, cool. So what is, what, if we go home, what are, where are we? What is this? Introduction path. Ah, okay, so in uh, the home page is kind of like your overall path. And you hear you solve simple short puzzles and you can kind of pick one of these as a way to learn. So this is really cool. It gives you a couple of different options. Uh, there's, I, look, look, it tells you that it kind of shows that there's different like little tests along the way. And I would imagine that if you did all these, um, it would really, it would really help you out. Let's see what algorithms is. Let's just take a look. So a loop is a programming language. Okay. So then it gives you a ton of training puzzles. So I guess it just gives you training puzzles regarding algorithms. Cool. So what is learn? Goal. The goal of this playground is to show the Monte Carlo tree algorithm works. So I guess here what, what, what people do is just submit their own kind of code with explanations and they kind of teach you like a lesson. That's pretty cool. I don't know. Um, let's see what the Python Hello World program. Okay, so these are like mini challenges. I mean, that's pretty sweet. It looks like there's a lot of content on here. And from what I see, um, it's all free. So, and it looks like there's a lot of user generated stuff. Like, look, I think this person submitted this question, which is really awesome. That means there's always like new stuff. Look, two hours ago, three hours ago, eight hours ago, nine hours ago. Look, it's very, there's a lot of people that are very active. So I think, I don't know how I've never heard of this, but this really, coding game really looks like an awesome resource. I'm not gonna lie guys, I would definitely recommend trying this. It's like gamified the way you learn how to code and it really makes it fun. So. Look, they even have a live session where they can interact with other developers. You can even get a job here. <laughs> Let's see what else there is uh, if we go home. So it looks like that's kind of the entire website. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This is, um, this is very surprising. I'm very pleasantly surprised with Coding Game. When I found out about this website, I was just, you know, doing some research on some other stuff and it came up and I was like, you know, I was very intrigued. And now looking at this website, it seems awesome. I I really couldn't find a place where you could pay. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea if it's uh, completely free or if it's paid, but great um, resource. I would definitely recommend to try this out. It's fun. It's free. It's free. So I don't know if, for sure if it's free, but it's uh, super fun. It's, you know, it's a different way of learning and it's, it's really, it's really um, something that works. I think that it wor that, that works very well. And so guys, if you enjoyed this content, Feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Every subscribe helps. Feel free to also leave a comment down below if you have anything to add to the video. If you've used this before, I would love to hear from you and your experience. As always, guys, enjoy your day and take it easy. Peace out.